In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. The teacher has come and is calling for you. This was the words of Martha to Mary. And the Holy Spirit is calling every one of us again this morning. The teacher has come and is calling for you in person. When you read the whole story, or the real miracle that the Lord has done on that day, we can see many transformations because the teacher is here, has come, and is calling for you. So let me share with you a few things that has been done just because the teacher has come. And again, we are not telling an old story. It's the reality or the new reality that we live in the New Testament. Whenever we are anywhere, we are in the presence of the teacher. Especially in the time of the liturgy, we are in a full connection, or we are called to a full connection with the teacher who has come by his body and blood to feed each and every one of us. At the very beginning of the miracle, the Lord was showing us his presence was grabbing the attention of all the people who were there from death into a person, from an event into a person. So he's telling me and you this morning, when you come to the church, are you coming with your own bad events, focusing on them, or you have seen that the teacher has come to grab your attention to the person? Yes, the event still there, there was, de there was death. But he came, Martha, once she heard that he is there, she ran after him. Then she called her sister Mary, telling her the teacher has come and is calling for you. So first of all, we are here in the presence of God to grab our attention into a person and to put aside the event. Then immediately, he started to speak to Martha and later to Mary. And both of them, they were imprisoned in the past. You were not here four days ago. That's why our brother was dead. So the Lord, the second thing he wants to tell us that when the teacher has come, he is telling us he is yesterday, today, and forever. What he was able to do four days ago, he is able to do it right now and is able to do it at any time, if it's, it is in his own will. So he's asking you and me also this morning, are you coming to blame the Lord why this happened to me days or years before? Or are you going to blame him why these things are going to happen to me? Or we are coming to see the person who was able to do in the past, present, and in the future? All of them were very sad at this moment. So he was able to convert also. When the teacher has come, he is able to convert our sadness into joy. But at the beginning, this was not clear in front of their eyes. They saw him coming, but we don't know what is going to happen. He is coming to console this family who lost their beloved brother. Again, what is my expectation? to our master when the teacher has come and is calling for you in person. Is he able to convert our sadness into joy or not yet? Then when he was asked by Martha at the beginning of the story from verse 18 to 24, he was telling her, I am the life and resurrection. Yes, he was there because there was death. Do you believe he is the eternal resurrection or not yet? Yes, we know that we are going, all of us, without exception, will go through the physical death. But do we believe of an eternal resurrection? And since we are baptized and believed in Christ and lived a holy life in Him, that we are now the children of resurrection? In Luke chapter 20, He was calling us, we are the children of resurrection. Nothing less than that and nothing else. Yes, the story started with sickness, dead to death. In the end, it was a life. Are you coming with your death to see that he is able to convert everything in your life, whatsoever death, into a life and life eternal? That's why in the end of the liturgy, we'll have the communion. And the Lord told us in John chapter 6, 
verse 53 and 54, that whoever eats my body and drinks my blood will have life. And then he said, and I will raise him in the last day. The church is encouraging us not to see it as a miracle happened 2,000 years ago. It's an endless event. The Lord has started to do such things to tell us what I have done is not only an example, but it's my power forever. So when he's telling us the teacher has come and is calling for you for a personal encounter, he is Martha ran to cry, and Mary went to say nearly the same words as Martha did, but in the end, he was confronting both of them. Did you, do you believe now in the present time? If you, if you believe in the present time, he is telling you, then you will see resurrection in your life. You will see this converted into life. This was conquered by the power of the risen Lord. Let us pray every time when we come before the Lord for something new. We are in the presence of the teacher, and the teacher has come and is calling for you today in this liturgy, in this communion, for a new personal encounter. May the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you from now and forever and ever. Amen.